Hi, I'm Melissa Hochstad, Vice President of the Material Suppliers Council of SPI, the Plastics Industry Trade Association. SPI has received many calls from media outlets and consumer groups asking us to sort out some confusion about the numbers found on the bottoms of plastic bottles and rigid containers. I'm sure you've seen the numbers, usually surrounded by arrows forming a rounded triangle that are molded or imprinted on your plastic bottles and containers. These numbers, called resin identification codes, are simply meant to make sorting and recycling plastic bottles and containers an easy thing to do. They have no other purpose. To help you understand the numbering system, let me first give you a little background. Not all plastic is made of the same material, far from it. Different plastics with varying properties are engineered from different ingredients. This is what makes plastic so versatile, so widely used around the world, and used for so many different purposes. For example, one type of plastic is best for the catheters and blood bags that save lives in hospitals. Another type of plastic is best for the hard casing that surrounds your iPod or computer. Over the years, more lightweight plastics have replaced steel in our cars, enabling them to travel more efficiently and save energy. Different kinds of plastics provide versatility. It's the same thing with soft water bottles or the more rigid containers like jugs that contain orange juice or laundry soap. The numbers one through six help us identify the six most common types of plastics found in our homes. These different numbers tell us what type of plastic went into manufacturing the bottle or container, but that is all they tell us. The numbers found on plastic bottles and containers do not signify whether or not our local towns will recycle those containers. They do not indicate the safe or intended use of a product, and they should not be used for that purpose. This is false and potentially harmful misinformation. Now what about those plastic bottles and containers coated with the number seven? I saved this category of containers for last because it has recently caused the most confusion. Today, new kinds of plastics, or even combinations of different plastics, are being used to make products or the packaging of products better, stronger, safer, lighter, more energy efficient, and more versatile. As new plastics are introduced into the marketplace, there is a growing need for new resin identification codes. Right now, Code 7 is a catch-all category designated for all of the plastics that do not neatly fit into any of the first six categories that were developed in 1988. Code 7 identifies the newest types of plastics, such as bio-based plastics made from corn, potato starch, and sugar cane, and multi-layer plastics. These materials are being used to make three and five gallon reusable water bottles, some citrus juice and ketchup bottles, packaging applications such as oven baking bags, barrier layers, and custom packaging. The advent of new plastics is enabling high barrier food and beverage bottles, pouches and containers that prolong the shelf life of products, which helps to save food and keep prices as low as possible. Here's the key point to remember about Code 7. Not all of the number seven plastics are the same. In fact, the opposite is true. Unlike codes one through six, code seven identifies a variety of different plastics or a mix of plastics in a single container that cannot be categorized under the other codes. That's why SPI, industry, and government experts, including the highly respected ASTM International, the world's largest developer of standards, are all working together to update the coding system and introduce more numbers so we can more easily identify, reuse, and or recycle these new types of plastics. In the meantime, we can all take comfort knowing that before any plastic is used in food packaging, makes its way to your supermarket shelf, it must meet the toughest standards in the world to ensure it is safe for you and your children's use. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration is interested in protecting our health, and every plastic that contacts food or drugs must meet all of the FDA's exhaustive requirements prior to its use. If you want more information on the proper use and interpretation of SPI's resin identification codes, or anything to do with plastics, please visit the SPI website at www.plasticsindustry.org. Thank you.